Hi folks, some things are better uh, to learn from experience rather than by watching what I do or other artists. And I'm thinking here about uh, colour mixing. Uh, I learn by, by doing it. And it's a highly personal thing anyway. But you have to, you have to do some work. I do it all. Uh, and I just mentioned that in, in uh, answer to a, to a a comment on YouTube uh, asking me if I would do acrylic mixing, just a video mixing. This, this, I can't really see the point in it. <coughs> I mean, after all, it's where the paint is put that is the important thing. And you could never mix up exactly two ways, exactly the same. Uh, I do try to show the watercolours because I, that's more mobile, but, but when I, I do oil or acrylic, I've got the, the palette down on the board, I'll show you, there, and I can't show that and keep altering the camera angle, it's too annoying. So there's my, there's my palette, I can show you that, but then I can't show you the, the, what happens on the, on the paper, which happens to be uh, uh, Winsor & Newton, £90. Uh, not hot pressed, so cold pressed. So I've wet the paper and I'm going to attempt to do a, a an autumn, not autumn, a, a, an April shower type of thing. Now April showers, that's a sort of a UK thing I think. April's just notorious for wet weather but then the winter's been very strange. We're still in winter. It feel, feels like it. With snow forecast for Monday in London, or well, possibility of snow anyway. It's very it's cold, it's about seven degrees, and we're in spring. But British weather. So let's put in a bit of uh, well, April shadow, we'll have a bit of blue. Oh, a bit of blue. There we are. Not mixed. This is a new hake, by the way. It's training me as I speak. And then we're a bit of bit of cloud. The board's about sixty degrees. We put a bit of water in the bottom, and we have a bit of dark under there. So there we are. Now the gravity will will pull the water down, and that will give an impression. We hope of a bit of rain or clearing shower but we've got a bit of blue in the sky and we've got a bit of grey cloud so I'll just re-clip. You no need to stretch this paper it's only a lightweight but it's a very very good paper so don't be put off by 90 pounds and think that you've got to keep buying the expensive 140 and 200 pound weight. You, you don't and you don't need to pre-stretch it. So into that we'll put in a bit of, uh, oh, I'm going to try to do this without using Payne's Grey. I'm not a great lover of Payne's Grey. We'll use those sky colours, the, the blue and the red. Just losing a hair. That's the brush, not my head. Uh, so, so we'll put in a bit of, bit of background. River Wandle, could be anywhere. Try to get some nice shapes for your, for your Distant, distant trees going around the corner, the bend in the river, I suppose. Haven't done the river. I should have gone with my mates on Tuesday, but my breathing's been so bad. I've got COPD now, apparently. My lungs are clear, but I think years of breathing in carpet dust, which is my job, and dedicated pipe smoking up to about 12 years ago, didn't do me any favours. So, um, being treated for that at the moment. Watercolour is quite non-toxic but I'm not sure about the oils and it was the solvent I used for the oils that triggered, triggered an attack of, of uh, not breathing very well, the difficulty. And we're slowly sort of improving. Okay so that's, there's a background so let's put in a bit of a stronger background. Add a bit of yellow to that mix. I will. 
although there's not a lot of leaves on the trees at the moment, but we'll, uh, we're making a painting. So blue, the dark, burnt sienna, burnt sienna, ultramarine, you have red, a bit of yellow in there, all sorts of lovely luscious, luscious colours. Loose and free. We were on a, a, a Facebook page called uh, Ron Ranson Disciples Loose and Free. Uh, okay, so we'll just, just, I won't lift that yet. So we'll just put in a bit of shadowy ones here. Get some nice. Not really happy with this cadmium yellow light. I, I prefer the. Uh, the ordinary cad yellow, it's got more strength, I think. These are Cotsman colours, they're not artist quality. You don't need to spend a lot of money to to do all this. If it's something you you think you'd like to try, keep it simple, that's the main thing. Just got a bit of bit of bit of warm colour in there. Something there. And some good dark, good dark blue in here. We're going around the corner here, bending the river. Picks up a lot of that, uh, that yellow. Oh, that's, that's okay. Uh, we want lots of uh, darks in there, so red and blue for shadows. Oh, we can. I'll be listening to the radio later, listening to Mighty in Crystal Palace playing uh, Liverpool. Not a lost cause by any means. We've got probably the strongest team we'll, we'll have out this year. Stephen Cronin's team, Aston Villa, I don't know who they're playing. But head a lower division. But we might be next season. Not been a great turn. For the football lovers. I haven't got Sky Sports, I don't pay for that. I, BBC always has a radio commentary. That does me, I can do other things then. Occasionally go. Right. Good, good rich, rich darks in here. This is almost tube. Consistency. So when I scrape out, the old river wandle is quite a, a narrow river, but I'm painting a bit that could be <coughs> in Ravensbury Park, which is a, a lovely park where the river was widened. You can see the bottom, it's all gravel. The river was widened um, for a fishery for the local, what was then the manor house. There's some burnt rubber in there. There's plenty of colour in this uh, foreground here. Bit of bit of dark in there. The banks. I'm going to be lifting out some of this in a minute. There's only a, a, a guess at the uh, river. I've seen it so many times that. Okay, what a, what a colour. I just feel like colour this morning. I've got plenty more videos on uh, Patreon. Okay. The, the, the shadow in the in the banks there. Clean the brush. Put in a bit of bit of that nice burnt sienna yellow. Don't 
So we to go to mud. Huh? Always a danger of that. That's where we want the dark shadow the, where the banks are. You need a cloth when you're doing this. And if you're new to the hake and you're finding that you can't get a straight edge, you, you will. Eventually you'll wear the, the, the thickness of the, the end of the hairs here will go thin. With my other one, it's lovely and thin, isn't it? But that's just so many hairs that I'm uh, despairing. Oh, I get this dark shadow in. Just a bit of texture. Okay, so let's start lifting out some of this. You can overdo this. This paper doesn't lift out as well as the Fabriano 130 pounds. This is my stock weight. Might be easier with a card. Might lift that a bit, a bit more. Yeah. Try to make the, the things different. And don't overdo this like I am wanted to do. We can just put a bit of that coming down here. Uh, no rocks in this. This bit of the river, or oh my, is about three foot deep, two foot six, three foot deep. Loads of fish in it, carp, even eels. And the environment agency, they do come along and electrocute or stun the fish. Um, <coughs> so that they can weigh and count them and see the state of them because the river does get polluted from time to time the, from the very sewage works I just want to just just put a, put a bit of reflection down Okay, we'll uh, put in a bit some uh, some glasses. Right, I want to dry that off. Put a little bit of dry brush on it. So bear with me. All right, get the old hair dryer. <laughs> It's a really thick paint there, so I can just take that out. This paper is very, very absorbent. Uh, well, I'll use my other hake. I'm going to put in some uh, some darker things here, some twiggy little. Uh, we can use burnt umber and ultramarine because it's a good dark. Oh, we can just put a few. 
Okay, we'll just get the, the bristles together. More or less. Yeah, there we are mixing. Don't want too much of this. Shall I look? A bit of dry brush. Uh, we've got a bit of dry brush at the top. Just a little bit of detail in there. Probably not. Not such a good idea there. Let's just paint into that a little bit. See, this brush has got a bit of a split in it. And it can, you never know how they're going to, to work out. But I've had good service out of this one. It lasted for a good nine months, eight, nine months. A big chunk in there. There are some wonderful London plane trees in here. They're quite big. Although they're not, these are in silhouette. Obviously. Come on. Yeah, some little bit of texture in that. You don't have to use the hake, but it's such a wonderful brush. Uh, okay, before I ruin it, I'll put a little bit of dry brush across here to represent that uh, bluey of the sky. Okay, that'll do. Uh, put it in a mount and then we'll see if I can get the camera in a position where you will see it in the mount. I photograph these out of the mount and put them on Facebook, my Dave Usher Facebook page. And then you can, you can link to all my videos from there, even the ones on Patreon, but you have to pay a small amount of the of money for that. Not a lot, just a little bit. It all helps to pay for the materials. There we are, so that's quite colourful isn't it? I don't, not like that. Alright, okay. So let's just zoom, well, I'm going to move the camera to a more satisfactory, whoops, one of these days I'll have a camera that will pause and record so that I can do all this without you seeing all the shakiness. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, an impression of the Wandle, it's all it is. Plenty of warm colours in the foreground, a bit dark there but that's more in shadow and probably a bit messy up here and there but I quite like the way the sky's gone. It looks very showery, well indeed it is very showery. Have a go. Don't overuse the uh, the plastic card. It looks mattered. And the one thing I really don't like is uh, blotting out with tissue. It might work better on this paper than the Fabriano because you can, it doesn't blot everything out. It's so, such a porous paper. But uh, I'm loath to try it. It's not my sort of thing. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your weekend folks. Hope you enjoy yourselves. Uh, keep dry. Goodbye. <laughs>